I had fallen to the ground. That's when I started biting my nose. My nose and my septum were bitten off. I'm a survivor of being brutally attacked by a family member's dog. The dog belonged to my father. My relationship with Irish was great. He was a huge teddy bear. I walked him, I fed him a lot. He was always friendly. The day of the attack, my father and I had gotten into an argument. I had fallen to the ground and that's when I started biting my nose. My dad then tried to put me into a fetus-like position and try to get Irish away from me. But at that time, Irish had a pretty good hold of my arm. He dragged me across the yard. I could feel the pain, but it was kind of numbing at the same time. After the initial bite, I really went into fight or flight because I knew he was biting on my arm, but I didn't realize like how bad it was. I always heard people talk about adrenaline, but I never exactly understood until that day. It was like a flip of a switch. Irish just stopped and sat at the porch stairs and I got up. The neighbors had came over and called 911 and came to my aid, put pressure on my wounds. Everybody was looking at me. I realized I lost my nose when the neighbor was talking on the phone to the dispatcher and said that she found a piece of my nose. My nose and my septum were bitten off. I had a fracture in my upper elbow. I had very, very deep tissue damage in my arm. The surgeries I've had to have, the first one, I had a forehead flap. Basically, they take from your forehead and they flip a bunch of skin and they connect it to your nose. This up here is donor cartilage. My mental health was affected by the attack. It's hard to see dogs when I'm not keeping busy. That's when it will creep up on me the most. I have a really hard time sleeping because of flashbacks when I'm trying to go to sleep or nightmares while I'm asleep, panic attacks. I don't know when they're gonna be triggered. You can say one word and I'll instantly be back to that day. When you have a near death experience, you look at things so differently. Knowing that my face had been disfigured was really traumatizing. That was really hard for me to come to terms with. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. This isn't forever. This is just a part of your story. I am seen. Are you?